Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, we are going to be talking about the question, will the Tampa Bay Buccaneers re-sign running back Leonard Fournette? So, if you guys are new here, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button if you do enjoy these types of videos, and leave your thoughts and your opinions as to whether or not you think the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will or will not re-sign Leonard Fournette, or whether or not you feel the Tampa Bay Buccaneers should or should not re-sign Leonard Fournette. Again, down in the comments section below. As always, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. And whenever I think about this question, or I guess whenever I thought about this question, right, will the Tampa Bay Buccaneers re-sign Leonard Fournette? It was a really, really tough question for me to come to a conclusion with. Even right now, while I am talking in this video, I'm still not a 100% sure in my mind on the answer. I think that this is about as true of a 50-50 situation as you can get in terms of possible re-signings for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers because it is so up in the air for running backs in this day and age of the NFL with it being a pass-happy type of league. Running backs, they don't make a ton of money these days. If they do, they are the top, top guys in the league and there's just so many other different types of factors uh, and things that go into paying running backs, uh, giving them long-term deals and all these other different types of things, right? So I want to talk about some of those things in this video today, much like what I did in the uh, Will the Tampa Bay Buccaneers re-sign Chris Godwin video. So let me go ahead and start with this. Is Leonard Fournette good? Is he even worth re-signing? And that answer is, much like in the case of Chris Godwin, a resounding yes. Um, I think that Leonard Fournette last season for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers was a top five, or I guess even, you know, say a top four skill position player for the team, right? You had Mike Evans, you had Chris Godwin, you had Rob Gronkowski, and you had Leonard Fournette. And to be honest, maybe you say Fournette was more impactful than maybe a Rob Gronkowski. You know, I don't, you know, that, it, that, that's a long debate, right? We're not going to be talking about that in this video today. But again, point being, Leonard Fournette was at least a top four uh, effective skill position player for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense this most recent season. He had over 800 rushing yards. He had over 80 targets in the receiving game. He had almost 500 receiving yards in the passing game. He was able to do it all for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, everything that Bruce Arians likes in a running back to do for an offense, Leonard Fournette did that for the offense last year. And you know, he didn't get off the ground running, so to speak, in terms of earlier on in the season. He did have some struggles throughout the two, first, uh, you know, two to three games. But once they, you know, finally decided on having a full-time starting running back instead of, you know, some weird wishy-washy type roles with Ronald Jones, Leonard Fournette, and Giovanni Bernard, once they finally decided, okay, we're going to go ahead and give Leonard Fournette the ball because, you know, that's what we want to do at the end of the day. It was, you know, really good for the team. Fournette was able to block well, pass catch well, run well. He did everything he needed to do to help out the overall efficiency uh, of this Buccaneers offense, which was really, really good this most recent season. So is he good? Yeah, he's very good. He is, I would say, at least a top half running back in the league, top 15. I mean, shoot. You could even make an argument that he's a top 10 running back right now with the way he's been playing. You look at some of the other guys around the league, um, I think there is a legitimate case you could make for Leonard Fournette to be, say, a top 10, top 12, you know, top 15 running back. I don't think that is a crazy thing to say at all. So all of that to say, yes, Leonard Fournette is good at football. He is good at the running back position. The next thing I thought about was injuries. You know, has Leonard Fournette been dealing with a lot of injuries while he was been with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? Is that going to be a concern in any potential long-term contracts that he may uh, receive with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers or another team in free agency? And, you know, he had had, he has had some injuries in this most recent season. I believe he missed three games in the regular season, one playoff game, the wild card game. Correct me if I'm wrong. He, he may have, did he play in the wild card game? I No, I'm pretty positive he missed the wild card game. So, you know, he missed roughly four games, maybe four and a half if he had to come out for a game halfway through. So, 
you know, it is a small concern, but I think overall it's not the biggest thing in the world whenever you think about, hmm, is this a thing that would hamper or prevent the Tampa Bay Buccaneers from re-signing Leonard Fournette? I don't think injuries are uh, ultimately anything that is going to be worried about in any potential re-signings that may or may not happen. So overall, I don't think it's much of a concern. In terms of price, you know, how much is it going to cost? to keep Leonard Fournette on the Bucks, I actually looked at SpotTrack.com. Right now, as it stands, they have Leonard Fournette's market value at $6 million per year, which is a pretty hefty tag for a running back, a pretty hefty price tag, I guess I should say, for a running back. Now, to be fair, you know, some of the top running backs in the league, they're getting $10 million, you know, $12 million, things along those lines, but still, $6 million, uh, are you able to justify that price tag? You look at some of the other guys around the league, you know, you can draft a running back in the second, third round these days, and they end up being an absolute superstar for a team. So I don't think it's a crazy high price tag for Leonard Fournette. If they are able to get him at $6 million, they very well could get him for more money somewhere. Uh, you know, he could ask for more money, I guess I should say, somewhere down the line. But if it's $6 million per year, in my opinion, that is doable. I think that that is definitely a reasonable price tag for a guy like Leonard Fournette with the ability that he has showcased for the Buccaneers the past couple of seasons. I think overall that is a fine price tag. Age. How old is Leonard Fournette? Is he going to break down anytime soon? Well he's 27 years old and typically the myth you know, in today's modern NFL is that running backs break down at age 30. That is like where they start to decline, point blank, simple as that. But with a guy of the build of Leonard Fournette, the guy's, you know, 6'1", 227 pounds, big guy, right? He's one of those running backs that you really, you know, could see going to say 32, 33 years old and having him not break down. I guess another thing to point out too is that the man has been getting so, so many touches in his career since he has started. Like he is on, you know, up there with Derrick Henry, right? In terms of usage rate, the guy has been hit many, many, many times, uh, you know, in the first half of his career so far up to this point that's another thing to consider that could also play into the age factor so you know maybe he does start breaking down at 30 in my opinion I think he'd be good to say 32 years old something along those lines just because of the build that he has as a running back so overall the the age is fine right you could sign him to a three-year contract even if you do believe in that age 30 you know, idea of, you know, hey, he's going to start breaking down at age 30. Okay, you could sign him to a, you know, a three-year deal, and that's long enough to still be a significant deal, and um, overall, you know, he, he will be good for those three years, I think. So overall age, again, much like the other things I've been talking about here, isn't much of an issue, but the big thing, you know, two final things I want to talk about here is, number one, does Leonard Fournette even want to be back with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? It's already been reported that he wants to test out the free agent market. He is going to test out the free agent market. Does he want to come back to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? And that's a pretty big question, right? Because one of the main reasons Leonard Fournette joined, or I guess I should say the main reason Leonard Fournette joined the Tampa Bay Buccaneers was to play with Tom Brady. Now, I'm sure he's developed a great relationship with, you know, many, many people on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers from, you know, other players like Mike Evans and some of the other leaders on the team uh, to the coaching staff. I'm sure he has a good relationship with Byron Leftwich and Bruce Arians and whatnot. But, you know, you gotta have a quarterback, right? Those skill position players, they always talk about, you know, hey, that's my quarterback. You know, I play for this quarterback. You know, a skill position player having belief in their quarterback is a big, big deal. It always has been. So would Leonard Fournette want to come back to this team right now if the Tampa Bay Buccaneers don't have a 100% solid answer at the quarterback position before the start of free agency? I'm going to say no. I think that Fournette would be totally content with going out into the open market testing free agency and maybe signing with a team like the Kansas City Chiefs or the Baltimore Ravens who have two of the top quarterbacks in the entire NFL. Maybe a team like the Buffalo Bills who again have one of the top quarterbacks in the NFL. Um, and there's just some other teams out there where Fournette may say, 
yeah, I like what they're doing over there with this team. I like the quarterback position. The Arizona Cardinals, they're going to have an opening at running back. I'll talk about that in a moment. So, you know, I totally expect Fournette to test the open market. Will the Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, want to pay him and compete with some of these other teams that may be interested in him? Will Fournette even want to come back? Or will he be interested in other teams, other quarterbacks that may, you know, in Fournette's opinion, be better situations than what Tampa Bay may be offering him? Uh, that is going to be a very, very legitimate question. And I think Fournette is going to be heavily interested in testing out the market. I have no insider information on that. That's just off the top of my head. But yeah, I think it is a reasonable take to say that Fournette is going to genuinely see what his other options are because Tom Brady is not on the Bucks anymore. And then finally, you know, hey, you got to think about the Buccaneers perspective of it, right? Price tag, $6 million per year. It doesn't sound like a ton of money, but the Buccaneers are in a very, very delicate situation with their cap space right now. I talked about in the last video, Chris Godwin, he's going to be probably getting 18 to $19 million a year. Carlton Davis, the guy's probably be going to be getting, you know, a very, very hefty contract as well. I, I can't give you an exact price tag yet, you know, off the top of my head, but let's say, you know, at least $13 million, something along those lines, right? I think that is a, a good, you know, low point for a contract for Carlton Davis is at least $13 million per year. The Buccaneers may say, well, let's just go out into free agency and let's see what some cheaper options are. A couple of names I wrote down, Darrell Williams of the Kansas City Chiefs. The guy had very comparable stats to Leonard Fournette. He is a similar age to Leonard Fournette. He is a similar build to Leonard Fournette. And, you know, based on Spot Track's market value for him, may cost around $4 million cheaper. That's something you've got to consider. Rashad Penny of the Seattle Seahawks, former first round draft pick, hasn't had a ton of playing time in the NFL so far this, uh, you know, in his career, but he just had a pretty decent breakout, uh, you know, campaign with the Seattle Seahawks, uh, you know, before his contract came up. So he's another name the Buccaneers might consider. Chase Edmonds of the Arizona Cardinals. I mentioned them earlier with Fournette may considering going over there. The Bucks may consider getting one of their running backs in Chase Edmonds, who's a very versatile, elusive running back who can run well and receive the ball well. Dearness Johnson with the Cleveland Browns. I think that that guy, you know, former USF guy, young running back, you know, a year or two younger than Leonard Fournette. He had a couple of good, really big breakout games with the Cleveland Browns. He may be another guy that the Buccaneers consider. And that's not even me mentioning guys like, Melvin Gordon, Cordero Patterson, um, and some of the other running backs that are out there, you know, uh, I can't, Sony Michelle, he just won a freaking Super Bowl with the LA Rams, uh, uh, James Conner with the Arizona Cardinals, there's another Cardinals running back out there, so there's a lot of different running backs out there, I think it's going to be a robust free agent running back market um, going into this upcoming offseason. The Buccaneers are going to have a lot of options as well, same as Fournette. So they may decide, hey, $6 million, not terrible, but we can get comparable play with some of these other guys at a lower cost. Heck, we could get three of these guys for the cost of what it may be for Leonard Fournette. So let's just go ahead and sign some of these other guys and get very comparable results. That may be around the Buccaneers' take. So you know, I've talked about all these other different things, guys. I've, I've talked about a lot of different questions that will need to be answered by the Bucks and by Leonard Fournette here. Ultimately, what do I think? Will the Tampa Bay Buccaneers re-sign Leonard Fournette or will he leave the team in free agency? And I'm going to be honest, folks. I think this is it for Leonard Fournette. I think this is he the time that he leaves the team, goes into free agency, signs with another team like a Kansas City Chiefs, like a Baltimore Ravens, maybe an Arizona Cardinals, um, and he goes out, he gets the money now that he arguably could have gotten last offseason. I think that $6 million is maybe on the lower end of what Fournette's going to be looking for. I think that he is a top running back in the league, right? I 100% believe that. As I said, top 15 running back, at least top 10 running back, um, possibly as well. He's going to want to get that kind of money. And with the cap situation for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they could pay Leonard Fournette. I saw something on Twitter the other day that said the Buccaneers could free up $60 million in cap space with all the potential restructurings that they could do. Money isn't an issue, but I think the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to go into this saying, hey, we love what Leonard Fournette was able to do for us, but 
Keyshawn Vaughn, you know, we want to see what he's going to be able to do. I don't think they're going to bring back Ronald Jones. I don't know 100% if they're going to bring back Giovanni Bernard, but they may say, look, there's some other running backs in free agency that we could get on cheaper, prove-it type deals that could be just as good as Leonard Fournette um, and give us similar production, so we're going to go with that. Much like what has been the Buccaneers' free agent strategy in the past, like whenever Leonard Fournette first came to the team, or a guy like Shaq Barrett on a prove-it deal, or Brashad Perriman a few years ago, uh, Jason Light likes giving out those prove-it deals and reaping the rewards of low-risk, high-reward type signings. And I feel like with Fournette, you know, it would make sense for them to bring him back. I think there's a possibility they do bring him back. But, you know, in my opinion, I think that he will leave in free agency and the Buccaneers will look at other options. Some being on the team already in Keyshawn Vaughn. Some being in free agency like the names I mentioned. And maybe they draft a guy uh, in this upcoming NFL draft as well. But, you know, hey, I could be wrong. You know, let me know down in the comments section below what you guys think. Do you think the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will or will not re-sign Leonard Fournette? Do you think that they should or should not re-sign Leonard Fournette? Give me your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.